Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Foolery. Long time no see. I'm glad to be back. And today I'm super excited because we're taking a look at the Ramen Toys Ramen Racer. Was this toy worth the money and the wait? Stay tuned and find out. Hey guys, so it's been a long time. I'm super excited because today, unfortunately, we're not going back to the arcade because we need the space for this massive toy, the Ramen Toys Ramen Racer. So a quick background, if you guys don't know, the Ramen Racer is actually a quote unquote knockoff of the Engine of Vengeance, which was supposed to come out, but due to the HasLab not being funded, it did not come out. It, I don't know if it was overpriced. I need about three for that. That's besides the point. I really did like this, uh, the idea behind it. I do like Robbie Reyes. I do like um, the Ghost Rider. I love this iteration of the Ghost Rider. So I was really disappointed it didn't come out. And when I heard the Ramen Racer was coming out, I backed it the first day. So I got a bunch of extras. I also got the extra wheels that came along with it. So as is, the Ramen Racer is only built to be um, dressed up as Blade's vehicle, or if you are a fan of the Fast and Furious, it is the uh, 65. Okay, so it's a Dodge Charger, uh, 1970 Dodge Charger, and the reason why this Charger was so special was just the way that the headlights and the tail lights came out. So this is a really good looking car. Um, one thing that this car is wrong and uh, a lot of people do get wrong is that I only have one uh, side view mirror. The only thing that actually did it right is the, uh, I think the Jada Toys minifigure and uh, I know the Lego did it properly. This one has two rear view mirrors, side view mirrors, that's fine. I guess they're making a street legal, I don't know why. But as we always do and what we've been missing for a long time, Let's see if this box is better than your mom. This box better than the box he was held in. On the front, we get a picture of the Ramen Racer. We have Ramen Racer on the front by Ramen Toys. On the top, we get the Ramen Racer. On the back, same thing, just no Ramen Toys. And that's it. This is a really basic box. Nothing special. Um, Yes, this box is a little bit, a little disappointing, but what do you expect? It is supposed to be a knockoff, um, and no offense to them, is just you can tell that they spent their money in the R and D and not on designing the box. Let's hope, hopefully, the toy is worth the price because I backed this back in December of 2022. I didn't get mine until May of 2024. That's a year and some change. Actually, a year and a half. Let's see if this thing is worth it. But first, let's find out. Oh, what's in the box? So there is a lot of accessories that come with it, especially if you're like me and you ordered day one. If you didn't order day one, you're probably not going to get this stuff all in one box. It might be separate. I don't know how big bad toy store is going to ship it because they're the only ones who are selling it resale. So. Of course you get this lovely ramen racer, but you also get a, uh, an additional hood. This one for the engine block showing. Another hood for, let's take it out the plastic. Another one for the hood to show the engine slightly. Really cool. A new front bumper, replacement bumper. Of course, I got the firewheel set because this was supposed to be my not engine of vengeance we get some more tires and i guess these are the blade tires or the engine of vengeance tires i'm not sure we get the fire engine let's take you out the plastic we get the gas cap the fire engine all fired up i ordered mine day one so i got this cool looking 
and he's in the bag so he looks that looks even scarier than what it's supposed to look like and i got this cool looking ghost rider head they did a really good job with the scope and the paint job this is actually really decent oh and the head the jaw moves i didn't notice that that's actually really cool jaw moves opens closes I don't know what body I'm gonna put that on. I'll see if the my uh, my knockoff Bobby, I'm uh, not Bobby, Robbie Reyes will fit it, but that's fine. We get the engine block with a belt for the engine, which is super cool. And let's open this too, so you guys can see. It's nice and shiny. It's so shiny. And a different set of tail lights. And then of course, all the flame effects for the wheels. Lots of flame effects for the wheels. So this is an awesome amount of accessories. Um, I'm just shocked that all this came with it. I know that I paid a pretty penny for it including shipping i think it totals to like 260 but once again i was going to back the engine of vengeance at three and i wasn't uh i didn't expect it to hit any of the tears because it already looked like it was dead in the water from day one so super excited that we got all this basically we got three different cars in one so that's phenomenal let's put this guy together and or let's Let's, well, let's move all this stuff out the way and let's see how well this thing can move. Or oh, let's check out the design. It's been a long time, guys, so I'm sorry. Let's check out the design. So as you can see, this looks just like the Dodge Charger, um, Fast and Furious, Blade, uh, the Ghost Rider car. Whatever you want to name it, it looks just like it. It looks phenomenal. So that is great let's check out the front bumper front bumper looks phenomenal pop the hood engine block okay i guess i guess that makes sense they the engine just pops in and out of place i don't know if it's supposed to sit be seated better I guess it doesn't matter what is on my hand anyway look at the front windshield looks from uh, immaculate love the fact that we have those windshield wipers on the front looks really good headlights in there that don't seat properly because obviously they are expecting us to change it out to a different set that probably feel better or do they slide in and out oh no they slide in and out i'm a dummy that's impressive super cool I should have known this because I bought the toy. That's cool. Yikes. Check out the bottom, a lot of detail on the bottom. Not chromed out, it's all black. You get the tailpipes are chromed out, but the rest of it is done in black plastic, but they still put the effort forward to put the design in. We have the two knobs to move the seats back and forth. Let's look at that bumper. The bumper looks phenomenal. Open the trunk. Open the trunk. Open the trunk. And we have this in here. We see the wire that connects it to it. This thing has, let's see, has a little bit of shock to it. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of bounce. Not bad front as well let's open you got look you up and look at that interior that is just beautiful um you got your stick shift you can see it has the clutch it has the uh clutch pedal gas pedal brake pedal all the gauges on the dash this is really cool and a full back seat for an additional three characters 
This is a really cool car. The design is spot on. It's what you expected. Let's see if this thing can do a squat. One and two and three and four and... And obviously the answer is no. This thing is not able to squat. Um, it is clearly only, it's not, it's no, it's no ways in the squat, but has a little bit of articulation there. Both doors open, so that's cool. Both the, the hood and the trunk open and the seat slide back and forward. So that's it, not anything else moves. The steering wheel does not have any connection to the wheels, but the front wheels do turn left and right, so you can direct them. And that's it. Not a lot of articulation, but this is just a set piece that you kind of sit on your table next to your other things. Like for example, the dummy tank that I have, that's something that you kind of prop up next to that, or you prop it up next to, um, to the clutch. I mean the vamp, I keep saying the clutch. You prop it up to the vamp and make, just have a cool little set like that. If you bought a couple of them, you can do the Ghost Rider, you can do uh, Vin Diesel's uh, charger from Fast and the Furious and you can do blades. So you got a lot of options. That's really cool. But one of the things that I really like about this is that they are, it's supposed to be light up. Well, not light up. It's supposed to be sound activated and light up. So let's check that out and let's give it a look. So there are multiple ways to do that. One of the ways is there's a charging port here on top where the gas tank is, which is cool. So now this is a Tesla, the first EV charger, 1970 charger. And the power button is right here. So there's two options. Very loud, very loud and indeed. And you can see headlights are on, going. I don't like the way they're flickering with the engine, but that's kind of cool. Should not be flickering with the engine. That means something's wrong with, with your starter or something's wrong with your battery because it should not flicker with the lights. That's fine. Let's see how the tail lights look. Okay. Okay, and the more solid lights, which make more sense. So the flickering, I guess they wanted to go with the sound effect. That's not how cars work. So I definitely will probably only do that if I just want to show the sound effect, not necessarily, you know, and maybe would play. I'll probably play with it with the sound on, but the lights, it, yeah, it's kind of silly that the lights are flickering with the the um, the sound effects. Very silly. Anyway, I saw this and I was like, hey, I don't want this battery pack hanging out the back of my car when I'm playing with it because I'm actually going to play with this because it's super cool. I'm going to take a lot of photos with other characters in the car or something that I don't normally do with these figures. I just kind of take it, sit on the show, and that's it. But this one has a lot of utility because of the kind of car it is, how it looks, how it feels. You can make it the John Wick car. You can do so much with it. Super big fan of how this car came out. So I went out and bought this battery from Amazon and I got two for 14 bucks. Let's see if it works. I don't know if it will. Let's see. Pop you out. Lights go off. And as you can see, battery in and the lights are still working. So, haha. -ha. Now, this is a pet peeve of mine is that don't send me something incomplete. If I can't play with it out the box, at least let me know that I can't play with it out the box. Um, obviously, this is an import and it's a specialty item. So, I don't know if they thought they needed to tell us, but I really would appreciate it if this one, if it was. AA batteries or something else. I guess this is a way of saving space. I'm not sure, but uh, battery in the back connected through. 
don't know. Let's see if I got caught the camera. Battery back connected through. Close the trunk. Lights are on. We don't need that. I can unplug it and plug it back in. And I can do my whole light setup and everything easily. So that's the win. I'm I'm gonna turn off the lights and see how that looks with the lights off. And the tail lights, everything looks beautiful on that. That's just really cool. The dash is on, which I couldn't tell because the lights are so bright. Dash is on. So really cool. I I can't be more enthused about how this thing came out. And so a couple more things before we go out of this. First things first, let's turn you off because I don't need to kill the battery. Let's see how this thing looks compared to some other vehicles that I have in my collection. Um, this is the, okay. Since you're so close, Vamp. This is the ramen racer next to the Vamp. As you can see, the Vamp is a lot smaller, way smaller than a whole, maybe a whole three, four inches shorter than the the not engine of vengeance but the vent does have the advantage of having a little bit more give not a lot more but a little bit more give and the vamp is as wide not wider but as wide as the ramen racer so that's one comparison and here's the ramen racer next to the Batmobile. As you can see, it sits a little bit higher, a lot higher actually, and they're about the same length. The wings on the Batmobile pushing out just a little bit more, but the uh, tail lights are almost in the same spot. So I'm just trying to give you guys some relative base for how this figure looks. And finally, the thing that I bought this thing for was for the fact that it could be an engine of engine so let's do that so just an fyi just in case you are as dumb as i am and you're probably not but just in case there are two separate types of wheels um there and like i said it might be in instructions i'm not 100 percent sure i thought it would be really simple some of you might be like me and be like man it's just wheels how hard can it be so two things one the wheels have screws on them so that's the main one thing you're going to have to unscrew it. So it's not easy as popping on and off, which is a little disappointing, but I guess you're going to put it in one style and leave it there for a little bit and then maybe switch it up. You're not going to actually switch it up all the time, but there are two types of wheels, right? We have this wheel, which is the back wheel. And the reason why you know it's the back wheel, because the spoke on the inside is longer. And then we have the front wheel, which has a smaller spoke or a smaller uh, shaft to connect it. And that's how you tell the difference between the two. The wheel's actually a little bit smaller and it's not obviously when you first do it, obviously not to me, but um, just giving you guys a heads up just in case you're just like me and you're like, oh, any wheels can go anywhere. They cannot, they have specific places. So once again, your back wheels and you need the caps that go on top of them it makes a big difference and make sure you don't over torque your screws because then they'll be stuck and then you're going to be a pain in the butt to get them out so yep let's finish putting this stuff together okay so that was an adventure and i'm have to explain some things to you guys so if you're thinking of getting this in the future because i'm assuming that everyone who got one of this now got it but if you plan on getting in the future, a couple of things you need to know. There are two different types of screws for this. There are not one screw. And let me turn off the light so that we can get a nice view of that, that lovely glow, which is awesome. Look at the wheels, that's dope. Anyway, turn the lights back on. So a couple of things that we need to know about this. Uh, there are two separate screws. There is a screw in the front and the screw in the back, they are different lengths. Clearly, uh, the long screw is for the larger wheel in the back, shorter screw is for the screw in the front. 
it will cause you problems if you try to use them with the other one. Uh, something else that I found that was a little bit annoying is that the wheel doesn't turn as well when you put on these wheels. I don't know if that's by design because once you put these on, uh, you put the flame effects on, wheel's not really going to be turning that much anyway, the way they were built, but um, that's something else I noticed. Uh, what else was there that stuck out? Oh yeah, the, you can, once you put these on, there's two notches. I knocked it off. Anyway, there are two notches in the wheel well, the wheel, uh, the hubcap, they have these two prongs. If your wheel, if you, when you screw them in and they're slightly off, don't worry about it. With a little bit of muscle, you can actually adjust them accordingly. Uh, Cause all four of my wheels were pointing either down or up and I just adjusted them down. Um, what else? I think those are the, the major sticking points. Um, changing the wheels seems like it's going to be like a one time or two time thing. This is not something that you're going to want to do on a consistent basis. You're not going to be like, okay, this is Robbie Reyes driving. And then all of a sudden he transforms to Ghost Rider. The amount of effort that it took to get to this point, and it might be the initial setup, but all four wheels have screws on them. You have to screw them in and out. And that makes it slightly eh. And like I said, it's not something that you can do you know instantly it's not like the wheels pop right off and then they pop back on you have to sit there you have to unscrew them you have to make sure that the the brake pads in the back don't come off with the wheel because it doesn't work properly without the brake pad that's attached to the back of thing which is a super dope detail that i even noticed because you have a wheel on it and the the wheel has blocks out the view of the brake pad but the fact that they put that in there awesome touch ramen toys um Outside of that, this toy is phenomenal, and I have nothing. I have no bad things to say about it. I think my only two beefs, my two, my three biggest beefs. First big beef, um, you're gonna have to get uh, LR44 batteries to get all of these things lit up. It's 15 batteries. That's three batteries per spot, so three per wheel, and then the engine not the worst thing i think i got 50 on amazon for like 20 bucks but still one of those things where it's like throw me a bone i, I spent 250 can you throw me a bone the fact that it doesn't come with the battery that you have to either use um a portable charger or a wall outlet or go buy an extra extra battery to light up the car that's annoying as well that's something that's gonna that's gonna be a sticking point for some people and then the process to switch out the toy, uh, the wheels, is such a nightmare and it's a pain and no one in their right mind will want to do this on any consistent basis. So that's a, the last sticking point for me is just, so the lack of batteries, the ability to switch out the, the wheels is, that's the, I guess those only two sticking points because everything else about this is phenomenal. I. I really do love the way this toy looks. I love the way it feels. Uh, it doesn't feel as janky as I've seen some of their other toys where they fall apart at the slightest touch. So that's kudos to them. They built this thing solid and strong. And switching out everything else on the car except the wheels is actually really easy to change off the hood. You put a little bit of pressure on the hood piece and they pop out, pop out from two slots. That's fairly easy. Switching out the front bumper is once you lift up the lit, the hood, you can just pull it out. So everything else is easy to switch except the wheels. And that's a really, a really hard point for me because most people want this car because you want to make the engine of vengeance. I mean, some people are just going to use it as a 112 scale car to go in their backgrounds for the characters driving for photos. But I specifically got this car because I said, hey, engine of vengeance gotta have it if it wasn't an engine of vengeance i wouldn't have cared about it wouldn't even have it across my radar so 
let's talk about pricing. What do you want from us, Monster? And the Monster bent down and said, I need about three This thing is 250. Not tree fitter, but 250. And that's not so bad. All all in is 250. That's and I remember I got it on early bird because I did it day one when it first announced. I didn't know if they were going to sell out or whatever the case may be. So I said I have to get this. Even if I don't get a Robbie Reyes. But I think now you're gonna spend 220 from um you're gonna spend 220 from so now i think you're gonna spend 220 from big bag toy store and then you have to spend an extra 30 to 40 bucks to get the um the fire wheel set which once again kind of defeats the whole value purpose i think you're going to end up being at like 300 dollars altogether if you buy from big bag toy store and yeah that's not so cool not so cool so that i think that might be a sticking point for some people as well that it is kind of expensive if you're not uh if you didn't get a day one anyway and this is my morbius uh build a figure that i got a custom head from etsy popped on there and I didn't realize that the Morbius body is blue is kind of bluish is in the lights you can obviously see but when you're uh when you first get the toy you wouldn't have noticed so I did not know he was blue but this is the head I got off Etsy is the head I got off Etsy. I really do like the head sculpt on this one. It looks very, it looks really good. Um, he did a decent job with the painting. I had to put a little bit more putty on the inside if you can't focus on the inside because the head he sent me was not made for 112 scale. So I actually had to dremel it out and then I dremeled too much and I had to put more inside. So fun times. I, but I really do like the way this looks. This is the de facto Ghost Rider head. One second, let's adjust the smoke on his back of his head. Oh, and that's the other thing I didn't like about this toy that I got is that the piece on the back was really trash. It fell apart the second I got it, even though it looks good. Um, it definitely was shoddy made. And I'm going to have to use sticky tack because I just broke the back of his head. This has been sitting on my shelf since 2022 because of how badly the uh, Engine Avengers fell. I just never, I didn't think we were going to get a Rob Reyes. We might because we just saw, um, uh, what's his face? The Demon Kid. I don't know his name. I don't really care. Wasn't interested in him. I'm interested now because Blackheart's with it, but yeah. Maybe we'll get a Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider, Rider eventually, but this was something to hold me over because I didn't think we were gonna get one in the near future. So this has been sitting on my show for a year and a half. Let's put on the ramen toys head and then I will give you my final verdict, which is something new. So a couple of points before I put the head on or while well, I'm putting the head on rather. Um, they do give you a really cool, uh, box, um, to put your battery in so that it's not just a green battery bouncing around or a blue battery bouncing around in your trunk. Uh, the bottom pops out you slide the battery and put the bottom back on. My only beef with this thing is, is that the lid is horrible. So I actually, the snaps are almost about to break and you're not going to focus. So the snaps are about to break. So I'm going to actually end up probably only using it from the bottom from now on, just because those snaps are really finicky. I might hot glue them back on, but yeah, that's really disappointing. And let's see. Yep. I'm going to have to dremel down that, that knob as it's too thick. Let's take you off camera and
yeah, I'm gonna have to Dremel down that piece because it's too uh, too big for too small for the uh, the peg that I have that was on the um, Morbius body, which is a much bigger peg. But uh, comparatively, let's look at the two heads together. As you can see, they're almost identical. I think the uh, one that I got on SC is a little bit bigger, which goes along with the body. Um, but I do like the flame effects on the Ramen Toys version a lot better, even though the designs are basically the same. Eh, I don't know if I'm gonna dribble down the piece. I really do like the one that I got from Etsy. It gives you the, it gives me the look that I was going for when I originally wanted to get the Robbie Reyes, and it blends in so well. And the, since the head is actually the right size, it doesn't have the problem of the me having to dribble down the peg. I might do a second uh, custom. Uh, I will have to get a, what I'm thinking is getting a Morbius top, get another chamber since that's a cheap piece and change out the legs for chamber. And then what I did was the hands are from Moon Knight, but I can take them off of this and pop them onto whatever custom I do. And I think that's what I'm going to do is just take this torso, switch out the legs to chamber's legs, or maybe switch out to his lower torso altogether, paint it black. And there you go. I have a new custom. As for the secondary head, I might use it for something else, but as for now, that's it. And finally, the verdict. So this toy is great. Um, even at the price tag of 250 all in to get it to this point, I don't have any complaints about it. I really love the design. I really love everything about this. So. I can't really give it anything less, but there are certain things that seem like it's a little cheap. Um, some of the pieces are wonky. Some of the things that you would expect from it, or at least warn me about, and I understand that it's coming from overseas and you can't have, you know, batteries traveling overseas. I'm well aware of that, but some of those things you're like, you would get from a Hasbro and that's fine, you know what you're getting with this. But I'm giving this a seven out of eight. Not because of the price, but just because little things keep it from perfection and it being a must buy. If you are a fan of Ghost Rider and you miss out the Engine of Vengeance, you probably already got it. But if you were thinking about getting the Engine of Vengeance and you didn't, absolutely get this toy. Even if you're not a fan of Engine of Vengeance, you can pick this up from Big Bad Toy Store and it has John Wick's car, Blade's car, uh, Dom uh, Toretto's car. There's a whole bunch of different things you can use it for. Not just the engine of engines, not for the Ghost Rider's car. So, absolutely go get it. Like this. 7 out of 8. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Glad to be back. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.